Hi everyone, this is Kavaljit Kurmi, working as Principal AIML Specialist Solutions Architect. In this session, we will learn how you can pre-train from scratch Mixtral 8 into 7B model in a highly scalable and cost-effective environment using SageMaker distributed training libraries. So let us get started. So our use case includes training Mixtral 8 into 7B model. We're actually pre-training this model and there could be several reasons you would like to pre-train a model. Uh, maybe your use case includes uh, a data set and a problem domain which is not well represented in the existing trained models. Or uh, maybe your requirements are from industry like medical uh, or finance where you want to keep your model secure and protected. Now, mixture model is a type of, type of transformer model uh, which uh, also also called mixture of experts. They have multiple experts uh, where these experts are basically our neural networks. And um, when you train these uh, experts, there is a gate network also called a router in front of that. And those networks are trained to map the incoming tokens to one of these experts, which makes this entire architecture uh, very efficient in terms of latency and performance. And uh, we want to start our training uh, and experimentation with the 16A100 uh, GPUs, but we want a framework which could help us extend to thousands of GPUs later. And uh, we will leverage PyTorch FSTP scripts, but we are pretty open to see if these libraries could be extended to accelerate our training further. And what we need from the solution, uh, this solution should provide us with a managed experience where uh, we sh uh, it should be able to abstract away the infrastructure complexity and uh, we should get more time to focus on our code. Uh, we want flexibility in the choice of compute. Uh, probably today uh, in this demo, we'll be experimenting with A100, uh, but the same demo should be able to uh, replicate uh, the results on H100s as well. And we also need flexibility in the choice of uh, frameworks and libraries. And uh, last, we want a high performance system uh, which could accelerate our training and could provide us with the optimized performance. So let us, let us see a solution which could address these requirements. Now as a machine learning engineer or builder, I will make API calls to SageMaker control plane. And SageMaker will help provision a cluster with N nodes. And then we'll use SageMaker model parallel library and its expert parallelism implementation to split the experts across multiple GPUs. Now, along with expert parallelism implementation, SageMaker model parallel library also provides a lot of different advanced uh, distribution strategies and memory saving techniques, like uh, mixed precision with FP8, uh, which take advantage of P5 support of uh, low precision uh, data types um, like FP8 to accelerate the training. Uh, other strategies could include hybrid shardy data parallel, uh, which uh, shards your model par par parameters, gradients, and optimizer states across our GPUs. Um, there are other strategies like tensor parallelism, uh, activation checkpointing, uh, delayed parameter initialization, and many, many more. So along with providing support for all of these advanced distribution strategies, uh, these libraries are optimized for AWS network infrastructure and compute instances which can bring down your training time and cost by almost 20%. And these libraries are compatible with PyTorch API. So it becomes very, very convenient for you to adapt your existing PyTorch FSTP scripts to take advantage of all the performance improvements that SageMaker Model Parallel Library has to offer. Now, one thing to note here is that when you scale up your cluster, so does the communication overheads, right? They, they go up as well, which kind of brings down your overall computational performance. Now, this is where SageMaker Data Parallel Library kind of helps in. SageMaker Data Parallel provides an optimized implementation of all gather collective communication library, which enhances and improves the communication between nodes, which accelerates your training even further. So let us see all of this uh, in action through a demo. So we'll use SageMaker Studio uh, to spin up our Jupyter Lab application. Right, so I have Jupyter Lab space here. Um, and once the uh, uh, Jupyter Lab is up, uh, we will run this specific uh, notebook. Now, before we get into the code, a uh, few things that I want to highlight. Now, there are two easy steps to adapt your PyTorch FSTP script uh, to SageMaker Model Parallel Library. Step one is that we need to initialize SageMaker Model Parallel Library by using this torch or sagemaker.init function. And second step is that we will wrap this model that we will get from Hugging Face um, APIs, along with the MOE config, which will actually activate mixture of experts. And we will wrap this model and that MOE config uh, with the transform API, which basically will convert Hugging Face model into SageMaker model parallel expert implementation, which is based on Megatron LLM. 
And the second step is when you when you spin up a training cluster using PyTorch estimator, as we're going to see uh, in just a few minutes, you just have to pass uh, this particular configuration, uh, expert uh, parallel degree, uh, which kind of specifies how many GPUs you want to split your experts across. So we get started. So we import uh, the libraries required uh, to run our notebook. Uh, we will continue to use SageMaker Python SDK as we have done in the previous videos, and we will use SageMaker session. Uh, to interact with SageMaker APIs. Uh, in this example, we will use a very small data set, Glue SST2, uh, which is a movie review sentiment data set. Um, you know, in the previous videos, we have kind of gone very deep into how you can process the data set. In this video, we will just uh, say at a very high level. So basically, uh, we are using Hugging Face uh, Load Data Set API to create uh, the validation and uh, train slash split. And then we will tokenize this data uh, by loading the tokenizer from Hugging Face um, APIs. And then once the text is converted into token format, we will group those tokens into a specific sequence length. Here, for purposes of this demo, we, have, we are converting that into 2048 um, sequence length, right? as we have specified here. Right, and then um, there are other basic steps here where we will uh, configure um, S3 as the data source to our training cluster. We will upload our data to S3 and then we'll feed that data into our training environment. Uh, this is where uh, we will set the configuration of SageMaker model parallel, right? Um, here we have defined say, hybrid shared uh, hybrid shared degree, um, which is set to eight. So if you're using uh, two P4D instances, each having eight GPUs, that means each of these instances, which ha will have its own copy of the model, split across eight GPUs. And then we have specified expert parallel degree set to two, which means you further split your experts across two GPUs. And along with that, there are other uh, um, hyperparameters that you want to set, like uh, whether you want to activate activation checkpointing, whether you want to have a specific backward uh, prefetch policy set, the kind of uh, sharding strategy that you want to use. In this case, we're using hybrid uh, sharding strategy. And then there are a mixture of expert uh, conf specific configurations as well where you can specify a load balancer. So in this case, we are specifying sync on, which is our default uh, option, but there are other options as well, like aux loss or balanced. And we're using all to all uh, com uh, communication, which is uh, effective communication uh, when you'll be uh, training your models, uh, which is optimized for AWS infrastructure. So here we will be creating uh, two uh, configurations for Mixtrel, uh, which we want to pre-train from scratch. Um, we have a small and large one. So when we will be experimenting, you can start with small, but uh, later on, once you want to run it at production scale, that's when you can leverage the large configuration. So here we have specified uh, the number of heads, uh, which is part of the multi-head attention layer. Um, these are the number of layers that our transformer model will have, and every layer will have four experts. And then we will be training our model on two P4D24X large instance. Uh, each instance comes with eight A100 GPUs. And then uh, we will leverage PyTorch estimators as you have seen in previous uh, videos as well. Uh, this is the uh, API which lets you spin up a training cluster. In this case, we'll be spinning up a cluster uh, with two P4D instances. And the key parameters that I want to highlight here is the distribution parameter. Here, uh, we are setting torched or distributed uh, uh, enabled to true. Uh, this will allow SageMaker APIs to use Torch Run Utility to spin up the PyTorch distributed environment, right? So using that environment, um, you can use uh, the environment variables like world size rank to configure your training script. And then we are also using SageMaker distributed a variable. Here we are saying that we want to enable model parallel library. And, uh, and these are the configuration parameters that we want to send to initialize our model battle library. Uh, this includes activation loading horizon, which kind of uh, defines uh, how soon you want to uh, bring back your activations from CPU back to GPUs, uh, hybrid sharded degree and expert parallel degree as we have seen, and the activation offloading, which is again one of the memory saving techniques where after you go through the forward pass, you actually offload your activation to CPU and during the backward pass, you kind of bring that back uh, to GPU memory. And the loading horizon kind of defines how soon you want to do that. Right, so with that, uh, this is the uh, custom training script uh, that we have specified as an entry point. So though we are using uh, SageMaker's uh, managed uh, PyTorch 
containers. So if we go back uh, and look into this uh, training script, a few things uh, that uh, we will see is first thing down below in this notebook, we have a uh, initialized uh, stage picker model parallel library, right? This initializes it in the PyTorch training script and all those parameters that we have sent as part of the estimator, uh, it will consider uh, those parameters while it initializes itself. So once the model parallel li library uh, is initialized, the next step is that we create a model. So we have passed the mixtural configuration and that configuration will be pulled in from the hugging face repository. And uh, using that, we will create this model. And then there is the MOE config uh, created right here, um, which has the parameters like whether you want to use SageMaker model parallel for this config, um, the random seed generator that you want to use, and the load balancing uh, parameter that we have passed uh, through the hyperparameter. Now the model and this config will finally be wrapped into the transform API, right? Now this is the API which basically converts the hugging face model into the SageMaker model parallelism implementation, which again is uh, based on uh, Megatron as we have uh, talked about uh, previously, right? So once you have done this, uh, after you, this you can fall back to your existing PyTorch FSTP uh, code. Uh, so the model that we have created uh, will then be wrapped in the FSTP along with the other parameters that will define the behavior of your PyTorch distributed training. Um, here we are passing the you know kind of wrapping, wrapping policy, uh, mixed pre precision, sharding strategy, and others. And finally, uh, we will uh, call our training function right from here, um, passing the model optimizer uh, that we have initialized. So I'll scroll back up all the way up to the top of the script, right, to look at our training run, which basically will call the training step. And then um, we are feeding the input ID tokens to the model. Uh, we'll get the loss and we run the backward pass uh, to compute the gradients. And finally, we use the optimizer.step uh, to update the parameters. So um, coming back to the notebook, so once we have defined the estimator, then we can call the fit function. And we pass the input data channel here, uh, which is basically pulling in the data from S3. So this is a, a run uh, on a very small data set. Uh, and then there are libraries which you can use to um, check your GPU memory utilization, your CPU memory utilization, and you can tune your hyperparameters accordingly and can experiment with it. And finally, when the training is completed, um, you would see that you are billable, uh, you are billed only to the second uh, to what the training run is actually consuming. And after the training is completed, your training cluster will be terminated by SageMaker. So this concludes the demo. Uh, Amazon SageMaker uh, provides you with a managed experience. It handles the setup and management of compute cluster. Uh, which kind of breaks down your total cost of ownership and you get more time to focus on your code. It's very easy, as we have seen in this demo, to adapt your existing PyTorch script to take advantage of all the performance improvements that SageMaker Model Parallel has to offer to really get a high performance uh, compute cluster. So these are uh, the resources which you can refer to dive deep into the example that we have covered today and the documentation on SageMaker distributed training libraries. Uh, I hope uh, you have found this session helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.